What's up guys and welcome back to the Hunter Call of the Wild where we are doing the story missions on Varhanka Savannah here in Africa. If you remember from the last episode, our next mission was to take a water sample from the swamp area that we see dead ahead of us. And um, yeah, so that's what we're doing now. Some scrub here around here, not surprising. Last year, if you got this close to the swamp, all you would hear were tsetses buzzing. Tick, 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 tick. They are bad, bad bugs. When our drought began, animals started clustering at fewer water sources, and the tsetse flies clustered with them. That meant TNT, tsetses and trypanosomiasis. A virus that forms Nagana in livestock. Nasty disease. Very bad. In humans, the same virus forms sleeping sickness. Sleeping sickness, eh? It's no way to die. Anyway, the problem was the clustering. So we broke up the heads as best we could. Aggressively quarantined sick animals. We had help from all over. All hands on deck. This year, no more tsetses. Okay, um, good, I guess. That's how it goes. Hey, take another sample from the site marked on your map. This is easy work, right? Too easy, maybe? Eish, then you should be able to get it done faster. Man, this old man. <laughs> he really does like to uh, make us work. I love the voice acting, though. Whoever did the voice acting for Grandfather, man, they're, they're awesome. Thank you for mocking around. Your brother will submit these samples for testing. There's also a lot more work to do here in the Zonga. With the river drying, Mohamganyi, wildebeests, are migrating through the reserve. So many, they don't realize they're going to starve themselves by depleting the grassland. Your job here will be to focus on saving the wildebeest from overpopulation. Just check your mission log when you've got time to spare. Uh, okay. Eh, hey, I almost oh. forgot, grandchild. That shot you took of the restored painting. Your brother sent it to a photojournalist who frequents the reserve, Flip Osprey. Flip was impressed with your eye. I told him you get it from me. He has some more assignments for you, if you're game. Helping him will put a little extra cash in your pocket and promote the reserve while we're at it. Well, let's first see if we got these, uh, two wildebeests. Right this moment, though, you have another priority. Flip Osprey isn't the only foreign media we've had touring Vahonga. This German who-tube guy or whatever, yeah, Gustav Baden. He calls himself a world-famous ghost hunter. I took one look at him. I said, if this man sees a real ghost... The only thing he'll do is turn a paler shade of white. Heh. <laughs> of course it would be a Baden. It's always a Baden. Ugh. It's amazing they have any living relatives at all. Your brother thought it was better to humor Baden for the Hootube views and exposure or whatever. So I let him come with all his fancy gear and his cameras. What a fool I was. He's not been here two days. Two days. And already, Gustav Baden has gone radio silent.
without our guidance between the poachers and the buffalo, this European Mampara is going to get himself killed. Go to his campsite, give him your spare radio, and talk some bloody sense into him. He should have a camp set up to your west in the area marked on your map. All right, so we're pretty close here. On the way over here, I did smoke a warthog. He's about 150 meters away, 160 meters away. I lunged him, but he was only a silver, so I decided not to put it in the video. And I also got trolled by some rabbits and their frickin' thumps. Could not see them. They were in the tall grass. Oh, it was what it was, you know. I can't see them. You can't shoot them, I guess. Don't stop looking until you find that Mampara bud. It's a Baden. He's probably dead. All the other Badens seem to die. Why would this one be any different? How their tainted DNA stays, stays in the gene pool is beyond me. You found Baden's camp? Where's Baden? You're a scout? Figure out where he's gone. Aye aye, mon capitaine. He left a note. Let's read it. Dear Warden Shabanangu, Baden can't even spell my name right. Last night I had the pleasure of drinking beer with some of your friendly local hunters. Eish, here we go. I must have drunk too much, because when I woke up, I had lost a lot of gear, including my radio batteries. Lost! More likely stolen by poachers, you mampara! He goes on. No worries. As long as I have my camera, my mission continues. Those hunters tipped me off on some local fungi that may help me see the eloco. So I'm off to look for buffalo dung. I promise to check in with you ASAP. <laughs> uh. What a fool. Bardens. I hope he falls in that dung. We've got a whole reserve to mind. We can't spend all day chasing a Hootuba or whatever that means. But at least now we know there are poachers active somewhere in the Zonga. We have to figure out where exactly. Until then, you should be care... Oh no. Your brother says one of our electronic trackers has gone dormant. The tracker on Rambolo. She's our last Melembe, our last Rhino. You must go to Rambolo's last location and find out what the problem is. Hurry, if those poachers have found her, Rambolo is in trouble. Well, she's not far off from where we are, so... Okay, let's go find Rambolo. What have you found? Please let her be alive. Please, ancestors. This is a tragedy. I... I am gutted. Rambolo wasn't just an animal. She was like family to everyone on this reserve. Now she's gone. I nursed her back to health as best I could, but she was in no condition to make a trip hundreds of kilometers away. So she stayed. Now this, this is what's become of her. I, 
I will send a team to clean her up before the jackals come. She's been with us so long, her hide should be preserved. <sighs> okay. I can grieve later. We have work to do. What would you bet those friendly lookers who stole Baden's gear were the criminals who did this? We must find out where they went. Not so you can confront them. You observe and report to me. I report to the police. The police put a team together and round them up. Got it? Now to find them. Poachers are sloppy butchers. Look for things they'll leave behind, like tire tracks. Yeah, no problem. Yes. Ha ha ha! Screw you, Bugs Bunny! Screw you! We got tire tracks here. Good. Follow those tire tracks. Observe and report. Be on guard. Maybe this is their camp. They made another look. Don't stay here too long. They're a group, so you'll probably hear them coming, but you never know when they'll be back. Anything suspicious? Even the least experienced poachers would not leave their hall in an unguarded pickup truck. Someone or something sabotaged them, and I doubt that Gustav Baden is the one who slashed their tires. You should get out of here before they return. But first, they've no doubt left traps in the area nearby. Do a quick sweep to remove them before you leave. Those shots were not meant for you, but they weren't far off either. There's a hut nearby. You should try to take shelter there. But be careful. I have no desire to bury my grandchild today. <clears throat> well, I don't know if you guys can see it on video. But there is smoke right dead center of us. Just to the right of that marker there. You're getting close to the hut. Stay low, stay quiet. Make sure you're alone. Uh-huh. What happened here? With that many shells? That much damage? These maniacs must have been firing in every direction from inside here. But at what? Are they drunk? Or maybe they're being hunted by the Eluk. Another thing we'll have to investigate. Get moving. <laughs> Take shelter. Get moving. Do something. All right. We've got the reports of smoke coming from the fever tree forest to your west. <sighs> None of my rangers are out there burning fires right now. Go check it out. It sounds like somebody's having a bad day. Shots fired. And they're screaming. Your brother thinks they might be getting trampled by buffalo. But we'd hear the rumble of hooves if that were the case. My gut tells me those poachers are being punished by the Eloko. Your heart is pure, grandchild, but tread lightly, or the Eloko might come for you too. Put 
that fire out before it causes a problem. Is this another one that we piss on? I guess so. Thank you. What else do you see? Signs of poachers? Yep. Their weapons were completely dismantled. Hmm. Any other clues out there? Yep. I'd hate to be barefoot out there, wouldn't you? Keep yep. looking for signs of life or death. Savage, eh? Torn clothes, torn bodies. I think we've seen enough to call this an a local problem. But your brother still thinks a mad buffalo or a whole head may have been charging the poachers. We can look into that later. For now you should rest. There's a shelter nearby. Go take a break there. But keep your eyes and ears open for trouble. Yeah, we're not going to do that. I think this is a wonderful time to go ahead and put an end to this video. As always, guys, if you like the video, please make sure you hit that like button and subscribe if you've a mind to. I surely would appreciate it. And be safe, be cool, have fun. We'll catch you in the next one.